morning, Uncle Frogs, and how are you this morning? I hope that you're enjoying this beautiful weather. Hello to everybody who's watching us live, those who watch us in replay, and those who watch us on YouTube. I'm Angela, and this is my wonderful friend and co-presenter, Marion. So welcome, Marion. Good morning, <laughs> Angela, and everybody else. <laughs> Rodita's beaten us to it, and she's already told us it's 103. Oh, 103. <laughs> I've still got behind us. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm welling up, Shangela, sorry. That's all right. We will go through um, and explain why Marion is so emotional in a moment. Um, so we all need to uh, cheer Marion up. Um, so Marion has kindly come on to co-host today, which is brilliant. Um, and she's done some extremely special knitting for somebody. And we're going to tell you about that in a little while. Um, so a huge welcome. If you haven't already, get yourself. This is your hour to do what you want. So get your drink. This is it. I've remembered my Goggle Frogs mug today. I still get haven't your... ordered mine. <laughs> Don't worry, Marion. Any mug, any glass, anything will do. Get your knitting with you. Sit back and relax. Um, we will do the talking. You can see us, but we cannot see you. But you can, if you're watching us live, chat in the chat box. And what we will do is share what's in the chat box with you. Um, so a huge welcome this morning. So, um, Marion. Yes. Is it warm over there? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, something that happens, we've all got fans going, haven't we? Uh, which is absolutely wonderful. If you haven't, there's always a pattern somewhere. So just use your pattern because they're brilliant for that. <laughs> well, yesterday morning, whilst I was making a mess of everything, they could hear Ollie, they could hear Ollie panting over the phone, over oh. the phone, over the fan. Oh, dear. It's... um. It's quite incredible, isn't it, that we pay, people pay thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds every year to go to somewhere with weather like this. But when it's on our doorstep, for some reason, it's no good. And that's because we don't have a pool in the garden, <laughs> usually. Some of you may, but um, we don't. Uh, but yeah, so um, just enjoy. And uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit about needles today because um, needles are so different. We think all knitting needles are the same, but they're really not at all. And once you change from one to the other, for whatever reason, suddenly you think, why haven't I been using these before? So we'll go through that in a little while, but shall we have a little bit of music, Marion? Yes, please. And I hope it's really sort of cheer up -y. Oh, I <laughs> Cheery uppy. I love that word. That's a new word. So if you want to go okay. on mute, Marion, and we will see what today's music is all about. I've no idea. Do you know? Oh, does anybody know what year that was? I, I don't know. And and to be honest, I've heard it lots and lots and lots, but I never knew who sang it. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's got, oh, it's kind of, I'm going to agree with Linda and say it's the 60s, but Brigitte's 66, 67. What was his name? Oh, Tommy. Tommy James. Is it Tommy James? James and the Shondells? Jones, Tommy Jones and the Shonda, Shandell, Shondell. You've only just seen it and I've forgotten. Makes they you wonder if you, if you if you can forget a name that quick, how can you remember to keep a knitting pattern of about ten stitches in your head? Uh how's Aggie's cardi coming along? Well, I'm still on the arms. Yeah. Um, oh, hang on. It's it's still not finished. <laughs> I think um, it's just so hot. And um, that thunderstorm last night didn't really clear the air. 
well the funny thing was um me i said right i'm going for a walk and alan said oh shall i come with you I said yeah that'd be nice so we went for quite a long walk it was lovely we got home and alan was going to the gym <laughs> so got home he just got changed for the gym got in the car and i said oh i felt one spot of rain went in and the heavens just opened and he couldn't get into the gym because it was just bouncing down so much but it was so funny um right well we were sat out in the garden just having a cold drink uh and talking to our neighbors through the fence yeah and we were saying and richard was saying oh, i'll put my shoes on and we'll take ollie out as as it's got a bit cooler and then we felt a couple of drops so we went in next thing we knew thunder a couple of lightning splashes torrential rain um and so we locked all shut all the doors and all the windows half hour later it was all done yeah we took the bubble ups out and um the entrance to orchard drive from bunkers lane was a flood oh wow it had flooded it was easily six inches and six twelve inches in the middle wow yeah we both all got our feet wet wet it was covered all the way up to the pavement what well, i was really surprised i love thunder and lightning so i was i had all the windows up and i was sat there watching it loving it uh, but um when i was actually out in the rain because we was getting the the washing in it was so cold like the really? rain, rain like rain is not normally that cold and it was freezing so it was uh, quite unusual yesterday uh, by the time we took bugger lugs out which was only what 10 15 minutes after the rain stopped it was humid again oh it was awful it was a bit cooler but it was still humid well i am this is what always amazes me um because we in our garden it was quite warm and muggy but as soon as we went to um up the road it was actually quite nice um so we we walked we walked along by the emus and the wallabies um which are only like two doors away from me so mm -hmm. we had a look at them um alan refused to come near the emus uh, the geese were gaggling as well and then we had a long a long walk so it was lovely through the um the wheat fields so no. over in ascot near us so uh yeah it was really lovely Are you not far from ascot house no no it's just behind us what the grounds are there are the houses well the grounds and then the house so it's just two doors and then we we walk up the hill and we're there have you been in the house no never <laughs> <laughs> oh it's beautiful it's lovely yeah. so yesterday we could see mentmore towers to the left and ascot house to the right and the two two houses can see each other so uh it was really nice really really lovely um but um, i'm heading up to leeds after this so it will be um a bit of a mad dash today but never mind uh just so, the window to see what it's potentially like for you it's a little bit overcast yeah but uh, you should be okay it'll be fine so shall we say some hellos to oh people? that might help yeah and do you know what i think this week is everybody is holidaying enjoying the sun doing i don't blame them exactly so um we've got uh bot bottom to top or top to bottom whichever you fancy we'll do a bottom to top then so good okay Marion hello marion and other marion who is with me today so good morning marion and good morning louise lovely to see you and good morning linda and good morning judy and good morning jackie i know that you're uh working <laughs> and you good made a morning about that. Brigitte. <laughs> yeah some people have been working throughout haven't they so thank yeah. you for keeping going so uh and keeping keeping the country moving forward uh but i tell you something i've been doing this um so i've got i've done an age six to seven 
She's five in September, so I think it's going to be a bit big, but never mind. But mm -hmm. out of the cakes, I've got that little bit left. Um, I'm on my first arm. And so I'll have to go into the second one. Um, and I've got the other one in there. So it ta it will take just over a cake, but... Um, not bad going. No, um, I don't. I can't remember how much the cakes are. Are they about ten pounds ish? Something like something that. Something like that. Yeah, it's Ooh. nice full. Can you remember how much these curiosity cakes are? Uh, I think four pound ninety seven. That's uh, that's exactly the amount that I had in my my head because I was trying to show everybody yesterday the drilling in the backgrounds of my workmen my workman our workman how it the shading is such a delicate pink i don't know can you can you see it it's such a sock you can't can you no th this is where some do you know what you, you need an iphone for um taking pictures so that you can see the colors well um, I'll, I'll do a picture for tomorrow uh, I mean, this is a Mac, but um, it's obviously, well, it's um, it's not a year old, but technology has obviously come off um, on a lot since since February even. Well, this was probably made December, wasn't it? So, yeah. No, if you if you move your Mac, so you've got the window behind it, and you're in front of it then you will find that it takes colours much, much better. But then it's glaring straight in my eyes. The sun. I know, I know. That's that's why we, we struggle. So, But that's how you get the camera to, to take things properly. So don't worry about it. Um, yeah, and I was wrong about the cost of Curiosity. I am so sorry. It's not £4.97. It is actually £4.87. Well, so even I'll more economical. <laughs> I'll have used two cakes to make a, a baby blanket, and I think that's pretty good value for money. Yeah, and the colours are so beautiful blanket. in the new in the new ones. I mean, they've they've always been nice, um, but they're, they're absolutely lovely. Um, I know Robert craves raves about them. Um, oh, he's used them quite a bit, hasn't he? Shall yeah, for the one snood things that um, yeah, the crochet one. one yeah Can you see what people are saying yes do you want to oh brigitte is saying good morning and reminding us straight off it's number 103 judy saying good morning jackie's saying morning sorry no knitting but guess what she's doing are you drinking uh, a coffee jackie um no she's working hard bless her um or deciding which purple yarn to buy um linda's yeah Actually, don't tell her, but I've got a ball of purple downstairs for her, which okay. I don't think I'll be using. Um, oh. Yeah, I've, I found it in the clear out and I thought, this is a Jackie pit. So um, uh, I'll probably be sending that off when um, I, I get her other stitch marker to send off. Linda's saying, good morning all. She's not knitting, not mask making, but I will share when it's finished. Well, it can't be cake because she can't share that. Oh. Um, Brigitte saying that it's a good job we can't see her because she's melting and she had to take her mascara off after her dash to the bread store. Oh, of course, it's <laughs> Tuesday. It's market day, isn't it? Oh, um, right. Of course, yes. Yeah. Uh, and that song takes her back to her disco days in Germany. Wow, yeah. Ooh. 60, oh. Oh, 66, 67. I oh, was, sorry, it was 68. It was 68. The money was 68, yes. I was 15 and worrying about my O levels. Um, Are you? Yeah, I'm 68. Um, Linda's dancing like a young un in her head. <laughs> 60s. Brigitte got 66, 67. Linda, well, we had a conversation about whose name it was um uh louise says she's just joined oh, hello. good morning good morning, good morning Safi. 
um and she's saying that's pretty what are you making which one safi angela's or mine georgie's joined us um i'm wondering if we're managing to keep cool brigitte reminds us that it's four pound 87. Um, jackie says oh lovely thank you well, that's to me and thank you georgie 1968 was the year she was born <laughs> Uh, oh, I remember Davy Jones of the Monkeys. I think everybody was in love with him, Linda. Yeah. And Safi yeah. says both. Do you know, isn't it amazing how all of us, without exception, have reduced Safia to Safi? And Safia is such a pretty name. And we've all shortened it <laughs> without exception. Well, I think Safi, Safia said that she... Everyone calls her Safi, so I did. <laughs> oh, and Georgie loved David Jones too. Now, who else was it? There was David Jones, Peter Talk, Mickey Dolenz, and who was the fourth? Mike Nesmith. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Mike. Yeah, that was my teenage years. I can remember my father listening to the rolling stones doing little red rooster when it first came out and saying oh what a load of rubbish what a load of and this is disgusting and then when he was in about his 70s listening to it and going this is a classic you know oh um, <clears throat> i remember my mum telling me that she went i don't know who she went to see at their local place in um Doncaster and I think she said it was something like they I don't know whether it was a swimming bass that they put a, a false um wooden thing over for when bands came I don't know it could have been something else it could have been like a roller skating ring or something and um the warm-up band was um the Rolling Stones so wow. she saw the Rolling Stones back i don't know before they were famous when they were warming up for some other band um in a little place called doncaster i know it's not so small but well, uh, when you think of the size of the band now and where they've gone quite yeah incredible. i was working at st Albans city hall and we had david essex of course because i worked really? there I, I got a free in okay i was working but um i could still stand at the back and listen to him Never didn't get to meet him, but uh, yeah. Oh wow! We went. Well, Richard's just saying we went and saw him as well. Hello, Richard. Hiya. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Who else did we go to see? Oh, it was a good. Didn't we saw Joe Joe Brown and the Brothers in in Western Supermare, didn't right. we? Yeah. Good. Joe Brown, not his brothers. Not his brothers. Right. Oh. Yeah. A one-man show. Yeah. All right. That's going back a bit. Yeah. It is. Oh, Linda's saying that she saw David X6 uh, in Godspell. Yeah. And um, Anne's joined us, and Brigitte's asking Anne if it's hot where she is. Is Anne in Yorkshire? Because we're up... Yes, she's in the... North Yorkshire. Yeah. yeah. Do you know who we haven't seen recently? And no. that's Anastasia. Yes, I was thinking that the other day. Yes. I was wondering how she was getting on with her um, shawl pattern that she had problems with. Yeah, she was doing really well, wasn't she? Once she got yeah. the new pattern through, it was beautiful. So I'll drop her a message and see how she is. Uh, I, will... I was going to say, and um, for those that you watch me make a complete not a twit of myself yesterday, Robert has said he will show me how I can access other stuff. So I don't sit here like a lemon in future. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll, we'll oh, go through that. Yeah. yeah, Louise saw David Essex at Hammersmith in her teens. Yes. Oh, and Jim, in Washington. Oh, and the Ram Jam Band. Did you see him then, Richard? Well, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I, I don't think there are many on here that are, old, are as old as you and can remember him. I was in my 
very early 20s. Isn't it? Well, that would have been oh, 60, well, around about 62, 63. Does anybody else remember what was his name? Gino Washington. Gino Washington and the Ram Jam Bands. What an amazing name, Ram Jam Band. Yeah, I know. No idea. Really no idea. No, somebody, uh, oh, Georgie's very kind and saying I did all right. We had a good chat. Ah, <laughs> and Brigitte um, saying that one of her nephews is called David because his mum was totally in love with David Essex. Wow. Just like oh. all the Kylie's in the world. Oh, and, God, yes. Yeah, and, uh, and Diana's came about yeah. and yes yeah and then um do you remember when toy wilcox was really big yes what was it the early 70s wasn't it yeah. uh no i think it was early 80s early Late 80s, 80s yeah. early 80s yeah. well we had a spate because you could still i worked at the tax office then and you could still claim child allowance of mums coming in to tell us that they'd had a child and calling it Toya. Really? Really. Wow. <clears throat> I'm going to have to have a look at that because I've never met anyone called Toya. Yeah. Toya you think, oh my God, poor child. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a little boy at the school I helped out with. He was called AJ. And I said to the teacher, well, how's that spelt? And she went, AJ. Yeah. And that was actually what was on his birth certificate, yeah. AJ. Oh, wow. Oh. And saying, um, oh, Brigitte saw the Beatles in Essen in 1966. Wow. Yeah. It was that part of the Beatles, because there was a program on, it was showing where they went out to Germany to play quite early in their career before yeah. they were big big and famous so <clears throat> i don't know if that was one of the that was the tour when they went oh, out to it. didn't they play in hamburg down the Reberstrasse? Yeah. i don't yeah. know i i know I, I can't remember that part of their um like it was like a, a program on them but i do remember seeing that so mm. was it there or wasn't it i don't know um but was it when they were really really big or when it was it when they were getting to be I know, um brigitte's saying that that was when they were already famous down the river oh, but the yeah. grass and brigitte will put me right is all is also or was famous for something else another profession um and ann says it says it's about 21 degrees now going up to 29 we're in north York, yorkshire 20 minutes from North Yorkshire Dales. And then yeah. Brigitte says that Toya is still better than North. Yeah, you know, she's right there. North? Why North. is that the name? Yeah, somebody's called that. Somebody infamous has called their child North. Well, I still think Bear's rather unusual. So, um. And yes, Brigitte has just said that. The Reaper Barn is not a street where the respectable knitter would be seen. Not at all. No. No. It the is oldest, not. oldest profession in the world is carried out, or was carried out down that street. Yeah, yeah. And um, please, if you don't know what the oldest profession in the world is, I'm not going to tell you. No, no. It's not knitting. Um. <laughs> no, I don't think knitting was. No. Um, so yes jackie i've skated over your question oh sorry what have we no. forgotten no i've just skate, skirted it oh right i'm just telling jackie i've skirted it are you taking right, okay. volley volley out or no, are we, are. we are later yeah we are going to the shop yeah after 11. Well, I've wow. got a question for you. all right what for the ladies no, for you what when you wash the caps yeah was it in person? Possibly. So I've got to wash them again. Which is scalp. Oh, okay then. Sorry, uh, uh, 
Um, okay. So that's all right. So I was going to talk about needles a little bit, and then we've yeah, got a quick chat about. So I am an absolute sucker for zinc needles. I love them. Uh, they're multicolored. I'm sure you've all used them, but yeah, just, for, them. just for some of our people who are in uh, in different countries, because I know you watch us on replay. This is an example of a zing. They've they've got pink ones, green ones. They're all different colours. Are they pink, blue, or purple? These are blue zing, yeah. four millimetre. Uh, yeah. So they're light blue for four point five mil. A darker blue for four mil. Five mil is a beautiful fuchsia pink. They've got every colour imaginable. They're absolutely brilliant. Oh my word. Uh, five mil. Yeah uh 3.75 these are all going in my new craft room which is getting there three five and that's a green so they're they're almost all together in one pot but i've got more than that and they're absolutely beautiful they're very very slippy so when you're working with wool that clings to the needle it's brilliant so if you're in a different country and um, they're part of the knit Pro range um, they are great they've got circulars for people who use circulars what I love about them as well is they do extra long needles so they do do 40 centimeter needles which means in true northern or Yorkshire style they to, do tuck comfortably under the arm for when you're doing your northern style knitting so I did realize that I didn't have a four millimeter the other day. So I had to go out to a local yarn shop in Yorkshire, the one in Pudsey, and get some new needles. And I got these. They are the traditional simple pony. So yeah. I got some four mil. Oh my word. I could not believe the difference with how they actually stick on the needle. So yeah. these were first smooth durable pony classic and honestly if ever 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 i do anything like lace knitting ever again i don't know whether i ever will uh because it's not my normal preference these will be my needles i've never known anything stick but not pull like these they're brilliant they're even better i would say than the carbons that i've got and the cubics that i've got because uh, the carbons are beautiful they they allow you know so you physically have to push the wool and you want that to happen sometimes if you've got really lovely wool that slips easily so easy for it to come off the end of the needles um and i found that carbons are some of the best out there uh that's just my personal preference but they're quite expensive i think they're you know over eight or nine pounds yeah. for a for a, a set uh but i could not believe that these beautiful and pony ones tend to be quite very very reasonable two pounds, pounds yeah. and they are incredible so it was just when we talk about needles we're always talking about the latest ones that have come out or the the trendiest ones and actually these were beautiful now now pony are different because i know i've got several that are the what i would call uh, these feel slightly rubberized and that's whereas some feel really really shiny and laminated on the outside so they're just the pony classics i don't know if they've changed them but i was so impressed and um, so some of ponies plastic and some metal covered in covered in something yeah these are metal ones that might be the reason why i've had pony and yeah i've got the plastic ones uh, which i still use don't get me wrong i pick up a set of needles and when when every pair of zings are already being used in in your projects you just grab another pair don't mm -hmm. you start on those but i cannot believe how um i should be using pony classics more um so certainly if i've got some it's interesting i cannot use mohair because pure mohair just uh, brings me out in it makes all of my skin crack i've got a really weird reaction to it but i've got i was gifted some fake mohair and it's a beautiful light bluish color 
So for using that, it will fly off the needles. And I thought I'd have to use my carbons, but I think I'll be using these. So um, certainly for anybody learning to knit, I think these mm. are really, really good needles. Yeah, um, I agree. Yeah, and I think normally we go for the ones that are so pretty, the zings, etc. But it's really easy to lose a stitch. So if you are putting any kits together for friends, uh, for people who are starting to learn to knit, really, really good. And it's not, it's not that you're using cheap um, needles. I'm pretty hooked with these, so I'm going to be going. I'm going to be looking in my stash at some point seeing how many I've got and replacing a lot of them, adding to them. Um, but yeah, so a little bit of an investment there, but why have I not been using these for quite some time? I think a lot, do you remember when they brought up the wooden pro line? Yes. Changeable and how yep. we all liked them. And then all of a sudden we were finding that they were snapping either, um, when we as we were screwing them in and on the screw bit yeah or or if you screwed them in too tight you couldn't unscrew them they um i was really annoyed because i i bought gradually or the whole lot i must have spent a fortune and now i hardly touch them um yeah i've never used them i, I bought a couple i didn't i'm not a great one with circular needles anyway it's only when i have to I, I just don't like using them. I love my straight needles, but I know what you mean. That well, I don't use straight straight needles. Not because I didn't like using them, but because I could never find a pair, a pair, <laughs> a matched pair, or even if I was knitting with it. Oh, it's where have I dropped it? And when I was young, I managed to sit on one of my mother's. I've still got the scar. Oh dear, nice round scar. And when I also when I was little, do you remember when you could have um, plugs in the wall and they didn't have an on-off switch? No. Oh, really? you're too young. Yeah, back in the fifties and early sixties, you'd have a wall socket, and they didn't have an on-off switch. And I put an electric one. Whee! <gasps> I must have had rubber slippers on or something. <laughs> Oh dear! Oh no! You poor I, thing! I suppose I ought to answer Jackie's question now. She wanted to know why I was a bit emotional. I, do you know what? I was just going to come to that and say, do you want do you want to share that before we go on to goggle frost? Yeah, please, yeah, please, please, yeah. please show what you sh showed me just before we went live because it was amazing. Mm. I think a lot of you saw the cardigan that I knitted my aunt um, and my aunt is nearly blind but she managed to write me this letter and you can see just how poor her writing is um, but she took the time and the trouble despite her eyesight to write me the most wonderful letter and i sat here bawling my eyes out um because um she's he, she's you've met her angela you met her at a knit and natter in i it. did yes got you cheap um definitely and she still asks after you you know oh bless her so how are those lovely ladies great. that i met um oh. and um what does she say well if i can read it the cardigan arrived safely it was packed to perfection um the label of oh, the cable it's it's not a cable but poor love can't tell oh, when i open oh i won't tell you that bit um uh she thought it was going to be a plain blue but it's as you know variegated uh some of it i can't read it it had me in floods the pattern is excellent. Never did I expect to receive something put together so well. Um, so that will that will tell you. But um, yeah, yeah, she is a strong lady, Linda. She she's um, not had the easiest of lives in in a lot of ways, 
Um, she's now, hang on, I've got a date of birth here. I always forget it. Um, she was born in 1926. Oh. So she's, nine, she's 94. Oh. And, uh, yeah. And where's she? Where's she, she lives in Harrow Weald. Oh, right, yeah. To get to visit her because, as most of you know, neither of us drive. It's a train to Watford, then another train from Watford to Harrow Weald, then a bus, on a bus for an hour. So it takes us two and a half hours to get to her then two and a half hours to get back so that's a day well let me let me know when you want to go over and i'll i'll drive over there because that's I've very been, sweet of you i've got friends who aren't too far anyway but i i used i spent lots of my youth in harrow wheel so i'd be happy to She's just have not a walk far around. from a pub called oh what's it called um named after somebody who won the vc um it, Linda knows Harrow Wheel Brown well. well. Um, Jackie says, um, yeah. Um, and Brigitte goes, yeah, it's a special letter. Brigitte knows what it's like to receive a special letter. And yeah. I'll, show, I'll show it to you properly, Brigitte, uh, when we meet up after all, all this. Um, oh, so lovely. And uh, Georgie says, yes, it's a, it's a wonderful, it's lovely. It, it is, and um, well, yeah. I'm I'm sorry to go on about it, but uh, just no. in my heart that she's she's got no children, um, and I can't get to see her. I'm not moving her at 94 to be near me because it wouldn't do her any good. Well, we can sort out the day, and then you and oh, and the other thing as well. I'll have the new car on Thursday. So it's a bit bigger than the car at the moment. So um, we'll, it'll be easier to take you, and Richard, and Ollie. Yeah. How long ago was it that you met her at the Spotted Sheep, Angela? I think it must be about five years. It was before it became the Spotted Sheep, but it was when the yeah. Katrina still had it. Yeah, it was. It was because she was... Saturday morning. Yeah, I remember where she was sitting yeah um, that's it linda the leaf robinson is that quite a big pub a white yeah. pub oh i know where that was yeah 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 um and her eyesight was going then and she she asked to see it she got all your knitting and she held it up close and she felt it oh bless her oh yeah, yeah that's, that's so it linda it's a it's a big steakhouse yes yeah oh wow well um yes we'll sort that out so that you can That's go really kind of you but we'll, we'll see how this pandemic pans out yeah well when it's uh, uh yeah i'm saying like not this week because that won't be good having you and richard in the car that close uh but you know it's going to get to the point where you can travel mm. um <coughs> says me coughing now it's just one of those like things isn't it whenever we talk about the yeah pandemic, yeah you're right yeah brigitte's saying you and your auntie were in the spotted sheep when she brought you the wool you knitted into that red poncho type jump yes you're right brigitte yes oh. you're right she bought me the yarn to make uh oh yes yes you're right she did when did you make that we went the, the to the brigitte it was one of the years we went down to um Winchinbrook, Winchinbrook, um, in Gloucestershire. Um, Jack, Jackie's gone, so she can't remember. That's got to be six years. Um, I think it's good five. Six no, we're years. in Winchcombe. That's it. We were in Winchcombe. It was one of the first years we went. I think. Yeah, it was. Oh. What a special but, letter. And yeah. um, it is now permanently here as part of Goggle Frogs, which is lovely. Yeah. And, um, and I know that we had to wait until Marion was able to talk about it because at the beginning of the show, we had to try and divert her mind away from it because it was all very... Uh, well, it is, mm. isn't it? Whenever you receive something like that, it's so 
heartwarming mm. really really heartwarming so um should we have a look in yeah facebook right i'll just have a look in facebook and if you can um anything that comes up in chat please let us know bye jackie uh, there we go my internet is going rather slow at the moment Don't, oh, Jackie, that, don't forget it's the gin night. Oh, God, you've got me all, all on my tod. Where's you gone, Angela? Now I can. Now I can see you, but it's just me again. Yes, it was Safi, and she is a very, very dear aunt. Oh, dear. Oh, and my father's sister, she, she is, was. What's that? Louise, morning coffee take it to the garden and watch goggle frogs that is so lovely really? thank you so much louise now you I see if we all live around the square and we're on goggle frogs we could have a <laughs> we could all be sharing tea and coffee well we could all be sharing cake yeah put it on the central um table oh i've just realized i've got something a little bit um goggle frogs branded outside i've got um lemon meringue pie that i made the other day <laughs> So there's no black in it, but it is the white and the yellow. Um, but that's lovely. I'm, I, I hope that you're enjoying watching in the garden. Ah, oh, as if by magic. We I were talking about Anastasia a moment ago. Oh, Anastasia, we're so, so happy to hear from you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, she's working, that's why. Oh, fabulous. So this is a Noah's art cross stitch I made a few years ago. P.S. Casting off the Simplicity Shawl today. Very excited. And we were just saying, weren't we, about yeah. the shawl. Oh, we can't wait. Uh, so if you are watching this on replay, Anastasia, please, 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 we are so excited to hear from you. Oh, look, there's little, there's a, um, a what do you call them? A zebra, a lion. I think that oh not very big so i'll look later but you have yeah. a look at the beautiful beautiful oh, more pictures i can't animals okay. no i can't do it you're sharing oh it's gorgeous thank you so much for posting that brigitte throwback tuesday we moved out of our retirement palette ju palace just we moved to our retirement palace just over 12 years ago the new um, dining chairs proved to be rather hard and uncomfortable so i crocheted six different panels which are sewed to calico cushion covers which kind stitching friend in germany sewed for me they are well used and wash up well they are beautiful oh love those mm. i just love the fact that you you know you have so many ideas about what your um going to do so rather than just putting a normal cushion on cushion covers beautiful love those um uh, deborah says sorry not to have been with goggle frogs yesterday and today you don't have to apologize we love you anyway taking advantage of the good weather early this week days out in our camper van deborah we are so happy to know that you're out in your camper van this is absolutely the right weather for it isn't it marion <laughs> definitely yeah uh linda thank you so much this really brought back my um youth uh throwback tuesday this was knitted probably by my mother but could maybe have been my nana who was living with us at the time it was for my cindy doll when i was about eight so about 56 years ago i remember cindy i know there was a it's gorgeous isn't it um I've got some patterns for cindy doll have you yes um cindy i can remember the flying to hong kong with with cindy she had on a midnight blue dress with a silver pattern on it and i oh. wouldn't let it go i would have been <laughs> how old would i've been six or seven. Oh wow that's lovely oh 
and then we've got uh, so that's lovely and then Fran throwback Tuesday a blanket I was knitting for grandson one this time 10 years ago he'll be 10 in November and um, he's wrapped in it and then him with his brother who gave who he gave it to who was seven last week on Friday the seventh and wearing it is um, that lovely and it's lovely when they're passed down and handed mm. down um they they stay forever um Brigitte says um uh, shared something about she had an email from amazon yeah phishing um just always assume that any email that you receive is like a phishing email and thank you for sharing that with people um so then Robert said, Throwback Tuesday, please post your pics. Sadly working again. We miss you, Robert. We will see yeah. you tomorrow evening, which will be lovely. Um, he's with us in spirit and will be with us tomorrow evening. This is probably one of Robert's creations. He makes lots of lovely creations, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we've got one from Fran on there as well, um, a bookmark at a craft sale. Um, Catherine says, sorry not being with you, start my new job tomorrow, so we just want to say a huge congratulations yes. to you, hope, job, Catherine. Hope it goes well. Yes, um, and we're really rooting for you. Um, she she says that she's going to pop in on the days off. Thanks, Angela, love goggle frogs. It, all of us make goggle frogs, every single one of us, um, and thank you so much. It's great to have you with us, and I can't remember what a new job was. No, I was just wondering that. Um, because I know, I know we said so. I, ooh. Hang on. Um, just trying to remember, trying to see that. Oh. Sorry, sometimes it's. Um, what? She's a nurse. That's it. She's a nurse. Thank you. Uh, there's something there's something there from Trisha. Oh, as if we didn't need to be tell, tempted, Trisha. British Wool, Woolly Wonderland, Craft Show, Saturday, August 28th to August 31st. Um, and I'm not too sure if that's an online one, but you can have a look in the um, in our Facebook group, which is Goggle Frogs Knit and Natter. So just ask to join it if you're watching on replay and not already part of it. Um, and this is, we did this yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. Which was the clangers. Hello, Rebecca, by the way. And oh, what is like? Yeah, Rebecca's oh. just joined us. Poor Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. Love to see you. Um, and there, here's the um, delivery of lovely squishiness. Now, I have to say, I do like Northern Lights. I so do I. I. This is a cowl I did in Northern Lights. Um, lovely to knit with. Well, that was crocheted. Um, it's lovely, really, really lovely. And the pink looks beautiful, but that, whoa. That I is really, a beautiful hitchhiker shawl out of one, it. Or one, one cake. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so there's some beautiful colours. There's your light pink and there's your light grey, which I always think are rather japanesey and i know you love japanesey stuff but the oranges together are beautiful dawn so mm. that's great um and i think that's it yeah I think that's it. yeah so i think we're up to date with facebook well brigitte said that the safia's cross stitch was amazing it was Sa no anastasia's cross -stitch anastasia's yeah um and Linda has some knitting patterns for Cindy as well, somewhere. Um, and Brigitte remembers knitting some for her daughter when they were in Dubai. Hasn't got any um, pictures of them. Um, what's Kaz? It's for KAS, of course. Good to hear about Northern, about Northern Lights, says Rebecca. I have some and was not sure about it. I've got some somewhere if i can find it because i'm i'm at the stage whereby i can put the yarn away maybe to, tonight or tomorrow and if i find it it mines uh lilacs going into a darker shade and i was going up to see the northern lights oh knit a square um thank you rebecca um and it i thought it was 
the right combination with the sky at night sort of thing because it's got little flecky bits hasn't it Northern it has it's lovely. yeah sorry marion i will be two minutes okay sorry i think it's just the carers ringing me from my mum's okay oh, okay then no no stay there i'll be back in a minute right how many squares have you knitted rebecca i know you've done quite a lot and um what was cindy's boyfriend called she did have one i'm sure she did i can't remember paul yes thank you linda and didn't did she have a little sister just like um barbie did i should never go looking for the northern lights as they will take you away is that is that a reference to philip pullman rebecca and i've read skippy or something long red hair red hair skippy or was that barbie's little sisters skipper was cindy's sister ah right because they had so many stuff they had caravans they had cars they had motorhomes uh and of course barbie's still a, a big money spinner i mean she can now become an engineer or an airline pilot instead of just the air hostess um so that's was this a telephone call about the care no, I, no. I, I always worry because whenever i get a, a phone call a missed call from a mobile i think oh it's one of the carers and they go and see my mum at half past ten in the morning. Uh, no, it wasn't. It was someone. No, it's fine. Linda's yeah. dad made her a beautiful wardrobe for her clothes for Cindy. Just recap. I couldn't remember who Cindy's boyfriend was, but it was Paul. And Skipper was Cindy's sister, who had long, long, run, uh, long red hair. And Judy's got to go. Bye, Judy. Bye, um, Sisu. There was a tradition. I remember seeing it. This uh, tradition. I remember seeing it on TV years and years ago. I'm not sure what that refers to. Is that the competition sort of thing between Cindy and and Barbie? Because Cindy was the British equivalent of Barbie, and she didn't yeah. really take off, did she? Well, I think I was, I had Cindy and I liked Cindy. Um, and then there was Barbie, which was just totally, um, didn't look like any female I'd ever seen in my life. No. Uh, and, and still doesn't look anything like any female I've ever seen in my life. Um, whereas Cindy was, I remember buying um an outfit and it was jeans and a denim jacket and a top so it was normal clothes so i saw it as um very that, that's how women should look mm. uh, and barbie i just find totally bizarre um so i i i don't know if barbie cindy was very very popular but i think um as the years went on barbie overtook yes um and and i think that's a real shame because i think cindy was um well down to a normal shape yeah <laughs> oh Ma and rebecca saying it was the northern lights taking you away we went to see them went up to alta to see the northern lights god only last year only last march oh uh, nobody saw them apart from my husband he saw despite the fact he's registered blind he saw this flash of green which oh, is wow. light nobody else saw them um which was a bit upsetting i want to go back again but richie doesn't like the cold so we've agreed that for our last ever cruise we will do up to um the north of norway and hopefully across to iceland and that will be our last one probably in 2022 oh. and pippa dolls i remember oh, pippa dolls the little ones. yes i've forgotten all about them thank you so much i think my daughter had some 
and um, Linda said her American friend had a barbie she had wigs for her didn't some of them have hair that grow and everybody cut it and but it, and of course it stopped growing because yeah we round it up in the middle but yeah Kippa, you had lots of different colored pippers so mm. i had blonde pippa a uh, redhead pippa brown haired pippa black haired pippa so got all these different pippas which i thought was brilliant as well um especially with children like you wanted all of them didn't you so you didn't prefer one hair color to another so it was brilliant really really good for uh children um <laughs> oh rebecca yeah i had a cindy doll i was only remembering this morning that when i made her a little record player cardboard and a bunch of records one was called my cuckoo by alvin stardust <laughs> and yes her hair grows pushed a button in her tummy and you could hear it whirring couldn't you yeah. around as, it, as you took it back in tressie had hair that grew yeah that's right oh right oh yeah. wow this is so funny yeah um, georgie loved all the pippa dolls as well and brigitte's fun session again this morning thank you ladies because yes it's 10 59 oh my heavens so goggle froggers tomorrow is eight o'clock with your john tonics or your wine yes. or with whatever whatever you'd like um uh, so we will be going live at eight till nine robert will be with us so please bring yes. your knitting again bring let's your cooler let's hope it's a locked cooler tomorrow we do the storms again down here. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens uh, with and, the weather. But and whatever. Driving, Angela. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to pack my car up now and head off and go up north. So I just wanted to say a huge thank you, Marion. It was my lovely pleasure. of you to share such a special letter with us all. Thank you so much and um enjoy that mother of pearl that you're knitting with and whatever you're doing remember to take time for yourself and enjoy this beautiful craft that we all love so see and that includes you angela you must take time for yourself as well <laughs> well we're, thank you very much i will i will take that as red and um so when i get up to leeds i'm gonna take my mom for fish and chips tonight or rather i have the gluten-free scampi and chips and my mum has scampi and chips with the uh, mushy with, peas with with mushy peas which is yorkshire caviar as you all know now and gluten-free onion rings as well so we will be having a lovely dinner in our favorite restaurant which is the weatherby whaler um so i will i will take a little bit of rest but i will see you all tomorrow evening as well so lots of love you take you care take and care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.